good morning students today we are going to see about direct method which comes under unit number 4 in methods of teaching english language this method was started in the mid of 19th century and uh, there was a need for a method through which we can develop our oral proficiency of a foreign language that's why this direct method was started by the german and france educationalist okay and uh, language teachers had already found grammar translation method was inadequate and ineffective in developing communicative abilities in the learners so before uh, this direct method there is another method called as grammar translation method that means translation method so when the teacher is teaching english it will be translated into their mother tongue and then they will teach english so that's why uh, that is the first and traditional method through which the students were taught english language so that method was very very inadequate and uh, it was ineffective in developing communicative abilities among the learners so this direct method was born from the grammar translation method why because it was ineffective so we need another method through which we can develop the communicative skill of the learners so this direct method was developed in 1990s okay and uh, they strongly advocate an alternative method in which language was presented in context and the mother tongue was avoided so in this method the usage of mother tongue will be completely avoided so whatever foreign language you are going to teach it should be taught directly in the target language so if you are going to teach english it should be taught only in english okay so you should not introduce any mother tongue or any other language while teaching english so english should be taught only in english this method is also called as natural method why because this method avoids using mother tongue and uh, this method uses only the target language so this is called this that's why it is called as natural method of teaching english language so the idea behind this method is uh, language should be learned as if you are learning your mother tongue so how we are learning our mother tongue in the same way we should learn english language okay so it should be imitated so likewise uh, how we are learning mother tongue we start uh, imitating our parents we start imitating our teachers we start imitating our friends so likewise this english language should also be imitated in the same way how we are imitating our mother tongue so what is direct method so direct method is nothing but teaching english directly in english so that is called as direct method so no other language will be involved while teaching english language okay so this direct method is named direct because meaning should be connected directly with the target language without translating into the mother tongue okay so this target language means english english is our target language so this direct method is called as is called as uh, direct method because uh, we will be teaching english in the target language itself in english itself without translating into our native language or mother tongue okay so a method of teaching english language directly establishing a direct or immediate association between experience and expression between the english words phrase or idioms and its meaning through demonstration dramatization without the use of mother tongue so you will be teaching you will be expressing you will be uh, demonstrating you will be dramatizing you will be establishing okay so all these things will be done only in the english language not in the mother tongue okay and uh, the direct method is also called as natural method why because uh, uh the teacher will be teaching only in the foreign language the target language will be used and the native language will be avoided by the teacher so uh, again it is called as natural method why because when a child is learning mother tongue it will not depend on any language so it will 
uh, when we are learning mother tongue uh, have we dependent on any other language no so we just started learning our mother tongue by ourselves we learned mother tongue by uh, watching our parents or by watching our uh, peer group okay so no other language was involved while learning our mother tongue in the same way english language should be taught to the students without any involvement or interruption by the mother tongue okay next is aims of this direct method so direct method aims to build a direct relationship between experience and language word and idea thought and exp expression okay so this method aims to build a direct relationship between experience and language word and idea thought and expression that means so when the teacher is taking this method to teach english so the teacher will build direct relationship between experience and language so whatever the teacher uh, experiences or the students experiences so that will be brought out through language through english so if the student is uh thinking about a word and uh, he will be having an idea about the word or he will be having an experience about the particular word which the teacher is uh, teaching inside the classroom so okay so at that moment the student should think about the word in english and the student should uh, tell about his own experience of the word in english so that is what it is it it builds a direct relationship between experience and language word and idea thought and expression so whatever expression that uh, that the student is that the student is having he will be expressing it in his target language in his english language not in his mother tongue or uh, uh, the teacher should should give instruction that uh, all the students should talk in english inside the classroom uh, native language or mother tongue should be completely avoided in this method okay so next is the method this method intends for students to learn how to communicate in the target language so the goal of this method is to make the students to communicate in target language so uh, when the teacher is taking this method to teach english the goal will be developing fluency and developing the communicative skill of the learners okay and the third one is this method is based on the assumption that the learners should experience the new language in the same way as he or she is experiencing his mother tongue okay so that's what i have said it in the last slide uh, so the basic assumption is that the learners should learn the new language that is english language in the same way as they have learned their mother tongue so mother tongue uh, how we have learned the mother tongue in the same way we should learn the english language okay there should not be any kind of translation or there should not be any kind of bilingual so no other thing should come inside uh, english should be taught directly in english that is called as direct method so next we will see about principles of direct method so these are some of the principles which you have to concentrate while teaching in this method okay so the first one is classroom instruction is conducted in the target language so whatever instruction is the teacher is giving to the students those instructions should be given in the target language target language means the language which you are going to achieve that is english language okay and the next one is only everyday vocabulary should be used so when the teacher is teaching in the classroom the vocabulary is which the teacher is selecting should be the words which the students are using in their everyday life so those kind of vocabulary should be selected and dealt inside the classroom why because so the students will be learning from the teacher and they will start using those vocabularies in their day to day life okay and the next one is vocabulary is taught through uh, pictures and objects so when the teacher is teaching any new words which is in the lesson or which is in the uh, content so those new words should be taught using some of the teaching aids so only if the teacher is using the teaching aids the it will be easy for the students to understand or grasp the meaning and uh, it will be easy for them to use it in their day to day life so that's why uh, vocabulary is taught through pictures and objects means uh, some teaching aids like uh, pictures charts or some real objects can be used 
and the next one is grammar is thought inductively in teaching of grammar there are uh, two types one is deductive method and the other one is inductive method uh, we can say in another form like uh, formal grammar and functional grammar so formal grammar means deductive method functional grammar means inductive method so in in formal grammar that is uh, uh, deductive method grammar will be taught by explaining the rules and regulations to the students first and then we will give examples for the students so that is deductive method but in inductive method that is functional grammar uh, the teacher will be providing lots of examples for the students and uh, from those examples the rules and regulations will be derived from it okay the rules and regulations will be derived from it so uh, in in that is the way of teaching grammar in two forms one is inductive and deductive inductive grammar means you will give examples first and from those examples you will be deriving the formula or rules uh, deductive means you will be telling the rules and regulation first and then you will be giving examples for the students so there are the two types these are the two types of uh, teaching grammar and this direct method will follow the inductive method inductive method means examples first and then rule will come after the examples okay uh, next one is students are encouraged to think in the target language so obviously the teacher has to encourage the students to think in the target language the student should not use mother tongue vocally or should not think in the mother tongue even whatever the students are thinking those thinking should be thought in the target language itself okay next one is speaking is thought first before reading and writing so this direct method will give importance to speaking other than reading and writing then next one is correct pronunciation and grammar are emphasized so importance will be given on pronunciation and the usage of grammar okay and uh, translation is completely banished from any classroom activity classroom uh, uh, activities are carried out only in the target language so whatever activity the teacher is providing it should be done only in the target language and a mother tongue should not be used in any kind of activity and uh, students speaking uh, students should speak at least 89 percent of the time during the lesson or during the class so the teacher should make the students to speak a lot so the teacher should make the students to speak a lot and the teacher should avoid talking more and uh, the teacher should make the students to speak more so these are some of the principles of direct method next is techniques of direct method so what are the techniques which are used in direct method or as follows uh, the teacher should use all these techniques in his classroom to make the english classroom very effective and to make the students to develop their fluency and communicative ability among them okay so the activities which are used in the classrooms are reading aloud so after explaining a particular passage the teacher should uh, should read for the students and also the teacher should make them to read aloud okay and a question and answer answer uh, sessions so after uh, teaching or after after explaining a particular concept there should be a session called as question and answer and uh, so through those session the teacher can understand that uh, the students have understood whatever the teacher has thought or not okay and then conversational practice so the teacher should give some exercise like a conversation so that they can practice their uh, teaching and the next one is fill in the blanks fill in the blanks can be given for the students to develop their uh, 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 comprehensive skill and uh, dictation can be given uh, map drawing paragraph writing so these are some of the activities through which the students can develop their fluency in english language so what is the role of the teacher in this method so the role of teacher in this method is teacher introduces the target language and the teacher demonstrates the target language the teacher acts as a facilitator in this method and the teacher monitors some of the activities which is given or which is assigned for the students and the teacher is the source the teacher is the source through which the students can gain benefits from the teacher and uh, learning by self correction so the teacher will make the students to learn themselves and uh, they will uh, they the teacher should be there to correct the students 
okay so the role of teacher is very very important in this method so without the teacher that, that this method cannot be an effective method why because the teacher should introduce the new target language new words new phrases or new concepts to the students and uh, the teacher should demonstrate uh, how to use this word in our day to day life or how to use this word to frame a sentence like this the teacher should demonstrate something to the students and the teacher should act as a facilitator a facilitator means the teacher should uh, provide some of the information for the students or the teacher should be there to help the students or the teacher should be there to guide the students so the teacher acts as a facilitator the teacher should help the students in several ways in this method and monitor monitor means the uh, there will be lots of activities in this method so this method is full of activities uh, so for successfully accomplishing those activity the teacher should be there to monitor it so after giving some of the instruction the teacher should monitor the activity whether the students are uh, doing it well or not okay and uh, the teacher is the source the teacher is the source means uh, the teacher contain lots of information the teacher has lots of uh, knowledge about the subject uh, the teacher has lots of experience the teacher has lots of informations Uh, so the teacher is a kind of uh, library for the students uh. so uh, it is the concept actually it is a fact uh. the teachers should know more about uh, the world the teacher should know more about the textbook the teacher should know more about what is happening in the world the teacher should know more about the students inside the classroom so the teacher is a kind of source through which the students can get lots of uh, benefits uh. lots of benefits that's why uh, it is given as the teacher is the source the teacher is the main source through which the student can accomplish or through which the student can learn english language perfectly and uh, learning by self correction learning by self correction means that students will learn something uh, based on the self correction or the student will learn something uh, if the students are making any mistake there is the teacher is there to correct their mistakes so that's why it is called as learning by self correction next is role of students so what is the role of student in this method is the teacher and also the student are more like partners in teaching and learning process both the teacher as well as the student should should be like a partner uh, partner means uh, they they the teacher will be giving some activities right so both the teacher as well as the student should actively participate in all those activities okay whatever the teacher is telling or the whatever the teacher is uh, commanding the student should obey the teacher's order in this method okay the next is the teacher should be sorry that student should be an active learner so the student should be an active learner uh, so they should not be very passive they should be very active in whatever activity the teacher is providing okay and the last one is observer and practitioner of the target language so the student should be an as an observer and also the student should practice the target language in various activities what the teacher is providing inside the classroom so the role of student is simply uh, to be simple the student should be an active learner the student should not be as a passive learner the student should be an active learner in this method So next we will see about advantages of this direct method. So the first advantage of this direct method is uh, this method promises to teach the language and not about the language. Okay, so this method will make the students to use the language, and uh, this method will will not teach what is language, but this method will make the students to use the language fluently as well as to communicate without any mistakes. Okay, it is a natural method. which teaches language in the same way the mother tongue is acquired okay so this method will be taught in the same way as if we are learning mother tongue so it will be very easy for the learners to learn the target language okay and uh, it emphasizes on speech and uh, which makes it more attractive when the teacher is providing lots of activity for the students this method will be an uh, will be more attractive for the learners and uh, it is full of activities so it is i know you know very well it is full of activities and uh, grammar is taught by use not by the rules i have told you what is uh, formal grammar and functional grammar so this method will teach grammar by use not by the rules 
okay this method enables the learners to use the language confidently without any hesitation so when the teacher is using this method the students will be using the language without any hesitation or uh, the students will have lots of confidence in using the language so these are some of the benefits of direct method this method also has some of the uh, demerits in it and uh, the following were some of the disadvantages of this method the first one is time consuming so this method yeah this method is a little time consuming because uh, when the teacher is teaching everything in english the teacher will find some uh, some difficulty or the teacher will uh, will be having some time constructions uh, in explaining or in giving meaning for some of the words so obviously it takes time it takes time for the teacher to achieve the target and the next one is this method needs competent teacher yeah very important point this this method needs a competent teacher who can effectively use the language and who can effectively demonstrate the language for the student so normal teacher cannot uh, uh, teach in this method the teacher should be very fluent in english and the teacher should have a good command over english language then only the teacher can make the students to learn in this method and uh, the, the next one is less importance is given to reading and writing so this method gives less importance to reading and writing it concentrate more on speaking okay and it is an expensive method expensive method in the sense the teacher should use some teaching aids to give meaning or the teacher should uh, uh, bring some uh, develop some models or the teacher should use technology computer etc so this method is called as an expensive method and the next one is this method is not suitable for average or below average student so when the when the students are uh, average or below average it will be difficult for them to understand everything in uh, target language so they for such kind of student bilingual method is needed and uh, when the teacher have selected has selected this direct method you should not uh, take step take the step back okay so you should stay in this direct method uh, when the teacher selects direct method you should not use mother tongue uh, you should not change the method so this method is not appreciable for average and below average student uh, next one is it gives stress for the teachers as they have to supply more language exercises for the learners so the teacher will be uh, overloaded with some uh, with some works because uh, when the teacher selects this direct method the teacher has to give lots of language exercises language exercises in the sense uh, some activity should be given for the student so that is a uh, little more uh, uh, workload for the teacher other than teaching the concept so the teacher has some duties right explaining the prose or uh, teaching the poem like that and uh, after that uh, the teacher should give some more language exercises so that will add some more burden for the teacher these are some of the disadvantages of direct method so i have given an introduction about uh, what is direct method its principle uh, the role of teacher the role of student and uh, advantages and disadvantages of direct method so this method i would like to uh, recap it again so this method was originated in france and germany and uh, the aim of this method is to teach english language in english itself and uh, to make the students to think in english and also to make the students to uh, speak fluently in english language okay the main focus is on speaking and uh, listening the main focus is on speaking and listening reading and writing will be avoided or, or will be given less importance in this method and uh, the other name of this method is natural method of teaching english natural method and uh, in this method uh, you should never translate anything you should demonstrate you should never translate but you should demonstrate you should never explain but you should act and uh, you should never speak you should never speak uh, more inside the classroom instead you should ask more question to the students you should ask more question to the students so again uh, you should not speak single word you should speak a complete sentence in this method okay and uh, you should not speak too loudly you should speak naturally you should speak naturally and uh, the teacher should not speak more but you should make the students to speak more okay so these are some of the uh, important points of this method uh, so i hope you have an idea about you had an idea about what is direct method and uh, we will discuss it when you are coming to the uh, classes thank you